living in the Adirondacks makes it possible to get out at all times of year and enjoy all the glorious variety. And every once in a while, a day just glistens. Everything feels right, pure joy, magical. You can't really predict which days will be special, and you can't go back. On a different day, those same places will seem ordinary. But there is one place, for me at least, that defies this rule. Massawipi. My wife and I enjoyed a magical spring day there a few years ago, and we've gone back. It's been memorable every single time. Massawipi is 10 miles west of Tupper Lake. You turn onto a dirt road and enter a classic glacial outwash terrain. A landscape defined by bogs, ponds, slow-moving rivers, and steep-sided eskers. You also enter a Boy Scout camp, and for the first mile or so, the roadside view is of tent platforms and archery ranges. It's after you pass through the camp area that it gets interesting. The Boy Scouts have sold an easement to the state. So other than during the summer months when the camp is in operation, public access is allowed on 3,000 acres with a half dozen spectacular ponds, well-groomed hiking trails, and, if the number of fishermen is any indication, good fishing. But even when the Boy Scout easement is off limits, you can drive through the property. It's a public road. After roughly four and a quarter miles, you come to an intersection where the Grass River Railroad right-of-way crosses the road. The parking for the Grass River Rail Trail is located a short distance to the right. Starting around 1910, the Emporium Lumber Company acquired large forest tracts east of Cranberry Lake, and the company built a railroad to get the logs to mills in Conifer and Tupper Lake. When the mills closed in the 1950s, the state acquired the rail bed, and today it's a trail through one of the most unique natural areas in the Adirondacks. At first glance, the Massawipi Mire isn't much to look at. It's very flat. That's a big part of why it exists. It's a glacial basin with poor drainage. And with no elevated viewpoints, it's difficult to see more than a sliver of the mire at one time which is why the rail trail is so appealing. The abandoned railroad fill passes through the southern end of the bog and provides numerous viewpoints. 900 acres of bog stuff, wildlife, and most famously, birds. The mire may be the best place in the Adirondacks to see northern species like the spruce grouse, Canada jay, and boreal chickadee. And the incredible diversity of habitats means that all the usual suspects are present as well. There is a lot to explore. And with luck, you'll experience a bit of the magic. But I'm not sure I would try it in July. It is, after all, a great big swamp. <laughs>